Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the channel. Today we are once again in the Pixelmon mod and today's video is going to be talking about what mods I believe are the most crucial and important to have installed for your Pixelmon adventure to be the best it can possibly be. So what I'm talking about is essentially what other mods you could add into your Pixelmon mod pack to make Pixelmon more fun to use to go uh, mods that might help you progress in Pixelmon or mods that just might help the experience be a whole lot better so we're not really talking about Pixelmon specifically today but we are talking about what mods you can add in with Pixelmon so if I remember I will try to have in the description all the mods I spoke of today so you guys can check them out it'll either be a a link to my mod showcase offset mod or a download link and why is there a level 100 trainer just chilling here not going to question that. Also, one more thing I wanted to state for anyone who is playing Pixelmon, the newest version, having trouble finding Pokestops, I literally just found one right now. Uh, they spawn at these waypoint areas that you could do slash locate to, well, locate. But uh, it's not always guaranteed. There, It's a random chance of finding them. But once you do, as you can see, you get some cool items from it. But I just wanted to throw that in there really quickly. For those who may or may not have used Pixelmon in a minute, if you're on the most recent version, there are Pokestops in picks them on now yes you heard me right i recommend checking out the showcase for that also speaking of at the top right hand corner will be links to videos that i may or may not have referenced in this particular video but let's get started so i'm just going to sort of fly around the pixel world and have this discussion you guys know my discussion videos go and we'll go from there so the first thing i want to talk about is the first mod that i think is very important to have with your pixel on is a type of minimap mod so as you can see at the top right hand corner uh this is the minimap mod i like using which is xerox's minimap um it's a it's a basic minimap it's nothing too complicated it doesn't have many controls besides just really setting waypoints and you can still see the pixel on names if i hit tab on the screen but i know there are people that like using a journey map i believe it is called is probably the most recommended one and i think even in the uh, pixelmon mod pack you can download on the pixelmon website has journey map so and that one i believe shows the icons of the actual pokemon rather than just little little dots with their names uh so you guys can pick whichever one you want but i do recommend having a minimap mod installed because you can set waypoints you can sort of you know see things around you especially if a legendary pokemon spawns it's very useful to know exactly where it is so you can pinpoint its location and go to it and go from there um it, it, like i said it's probably the second most important mod you want to have installed next to just being pixelmon itself after that uh this is an optional one but one that i find can enhance your experience if you want to add a little bit more randomness to your world is the pixelmon lucky block mod and specifically the pixelmon one i just reviewed it recently there is one for the version of 1.16.5 pixelmon now and that being said also i should mention that this guide this video is specifically for pixelmon what uh 1.16.5 so minecraft version 1.16.5 pixelmon version 9.0.10 so the most recent version of pixelmon and i do think pixelmon is going to have another massive update soon so stay tuned on the channel for that but yeah uh pixelmon lucky block mod very useful if you guys don't know what it does essentially it allows these lucky blocks to spawn in your world that when you break them it can spawn in random pixelmon being legendaries ultra beasts you can even get some cool items like master ball loot and stuff it's pretty crazy and recommended to enhance your Pixelmon adventure if you want to add some luck to it. It is overpowered though, so if you're a type of person that wants to find everything in the mod legitimately and you don't want to get things just handed to you, then perhaps it's not the mod for you, but it is an option nonetheless. Following that, uh, this is another optional thing you could add in since Pixelmon is adding its own structures, but any sort of structure or ruins like mod that adds in some extra sort of fluff to your world, some things to explore like temples and stuff uh that won't change up it won't change any of the spawning of pixmon since pixmon spawn in biomes specifically you could add structures to your world any mod that you know that adds in structures is worth adding if you just want to add some exploration to your world and you don't really want to worry too much about um things looking bland you know what i mean that being said along with that i will bring up that uh you're gonna need a storage mod any mod that enhances your storage because vanilla minecraft chests do not do it for anyone you're gonna want to add any sort of like um the iron chest mod i like using the uh applied energistics mod which adds in like the infinite storage machine but that's a complicated mod if you don't want to do techie stuff uh, I always just game mode in the thing because it's it's literally just an enhanced storage thing. I could care less about going through all the process of crafting a, a infinite storage when I can just get it, you know. Because again, you're playing Pixelmon, you're not playing Minecraft, you're not supposed to do mining and stuff. You want to just have fun with catching Pokemon in Minecraft, that's the whole point of it. But any sort of storage mod that enhances your 
your capabilities of storing items i recommend backpack mods too but pixel mod itself has its own backpack now if you guys didn't know uh i think it's called just bag yeah you can get these uh poke bags in your world now which literally uh store pokemon loot and it also allows you to use items that are stored in those bags in like battles and stuff whereas before you couldn't really do that which is nice now so you can store all your pokeballs all your potions and healing items in those and it it frees up your space of inventory a little bit more also shout outs to the crystal onyx that just randomly spawned in front of me yes crystal onyxes do exist in pixelmon you can't catch them i was actually going to make a guide on this guy uh but i think it's really funny one just kind of spawned in front of me uh, that being said, next up, uh, uh, this is another optional thing if you really want to, but if you want to have a faster way of smelting items, you do have to smelt a bunch of ore and pick some on. Um, install some sort of furnace mod, you know, mo furnace mod, more furnaces. There's a bunch of mods like that that just add in enhanced furnaces that will, you know, smelt stuff a lot easier, a lot quicker, and you don't have to worry about that. Because, again, the whole point of Pixamon is you're not supposed to be playing Minecraft. You're supposed to just enjoy... Oh, that's a weird spawning structure. You're supposed to just enjoy, uh, the adventure of catching Pokemon in Minecraft. You're not supposed... It's... You're, you're supposed to, in my opinion, everything else should be easier and the only thing that should be giving you trouble is catching a legendary pokemon you know what i mean for pixelmon specifically uh, i know there's some people that might disagree with that and be like no it's minecraft you have to play minecraft like minecraft and yes that is true but pixelmon already adds in a bunch of stuff to change that to make life easier so why not add in a few other mods to help with that as well uh that being said helpful things like vein miner or ore excavation now it is called uh that help you you know mine up all the ore with one click of a button versus just pet like you know uh tediously mining each block it's a lot helpful to have vein miner um you guys know me i love using vein miner it's called ore excavation now but vein miner is a more well-known name so that's why i'm saying it but yeah, it's a very recommended one. I, I think that's a good thing to have in your world as well, just to help you sort of knock down trees when you need to, uh, mine up all the ore underground, just so it makes things go a lot smoother. Because again, your point of this mod is to catch Pokemon. Also, shouts the box, uh, box, the boss toxicity here. As you can see, bosses are still in Pixelmon. I got, I got to say it every video before I get a comment about it. But Austin, I don't see any bosses. Go out and look. They're there. Trust me. Anyway. Um, any kind of food mod. If the, uh, if you guys didn't know, Pixelmon itself adds in food. Uh, there's a bunch of food now that you can get in Pixelmon that you can actually eat as a player. You can see there's, there's a bunch of foods like right here that you can craft and make and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, I believe the shopkeepers also sell them in that you can find at the Pokemarts in the villages. But, uh, if that's not enough food for you, if you want to add another food mod, you can do that too. Um, it's not going to change anything about Pixelmon because again, it's just adding more food crops that can spawn your world. Uh, I recommend finding one like, uh, what's it called? What's, what's the food mod called? The big one, Croptopia. Croptopia is a good one and, uh, Pam's Harvest Craft is another good one. I think Farmer's Delight is another mod you could add that adds in food. Again, this is only if you want to get more types of food in your world. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Now, what is a necessary mod that I think is worth adding in is a biome expansion mod. So, biomes of plenty, or I think the other one's called like the biomes you'll go mod. Um, I recommend them a lot if you want to add more custom biomes into your world. And Pixelmon is compatible with both of those mods, which means that the Pixelmon will spawn in those biomes as well. So. I do recommend doing that. However, if you do add those mods in, just know if you're expecting to search for certain Pokemon like you normally would, uh, there's a chance they spawn in only those biomes contrary to the vanilla biomes because it does spread out the spawns a bit more. It's a harder time finding certain Pokemon because they might only be exclusive to like the volcano biome. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Exclusive biomes that are only in those mods. Um, but it is fun to explore custom biomes in, in Minecraft as always. And with Pixabot, again, your whole point is exploration. It's worth having if that's the case. Now, that's all the mods I would recommend. But one thing I would recommend not installing is a mod that adds in other mobs. Because if you guys didn't know, with Pixelmon, there are no natural mobs spawning. It's only the Pokemon that you will encounter in your world. You do not want to add in a mod like Alex's mobs, which is going to add in mobs. Because... One, they probably won't even spawn in, and two, there's a chance it'll it'll glitch the Pixamon, and they won't be able to uh, spawn properly. So don't add any mods that add in other mobs spawning or have a chance of spawning. It won't work. 
uh not even like a village based mod or like an iron golem mod don't do it there's no point one and two like i said there's already custom villagers and stuff in pixelmon so it might mess with them so just don't do it that's my one piece of advice uh, another piece of advice is do not install Optifine. I know for some reason people still think Optifine is a good mod to have in the year 2022, but the mod does not work well with Pixamod. For those who don't know, Optifine is a mod that's supposed to reduce lag in your in Minecraft. It's supposed to make your computer be able to run Minecraft easier. Minecraft nowadays already has that stuff built into the settings. You're supposed to edit your settings for that and it's supposed to be optimized for that. I know some people say, well, I can't even run vanilla Minecraft without my PC blue screening crashing or lagging. So that's why I have Optifine. Yes, but with Pixel, okay, so what Optifine does is it changes the files of your Minecraft so things do run smoother. With Pixelmon, Pixelmon adds in all these unique uh, custom um, textures for the different Pokemon and stuff. And what Optifine will end up doing sometimes is erasing those textures. And sometimes Pokemon will be invisible. They won't even spawn or it'll just crash your game. And I've gotten several comments where people are like, my po my Pixelmon won't even load. Or when I go to pick my starter, it just crashes. Why is this happening? And I'm like, do you have Optifine installed? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, that's why. <laughs> you can't have Optifine installed with Pixelmon. Now, Pixelmon does eat up a lot of memory. It does... It's, it's a very strenuous mod. It's one of the biggest mods in Minecraft. Though, uh, if you are already having trouble running vanilla Minecraft, you're not going to be able to run Pixelmon. That's just how it is. There's no other way to say besides just you're going to have to get yourself a better computer. Um, and that's the only advice I can say. There's there's no like what, cut around for that. If you can run it, then by all means run it. But don't install Optifine to try to make it run easier. It's just going to cause more problems. And if you're one of the few people that has Optifine running with Pixelmon with no issues, then by all means. But if you're having trouble running Pixelmon and you have Optifine installed, it's most likely Optifine's fault. That's been an issue with Optifine since it's creation back in like 2012 it's always had trouble running with mods that change textures of things in minecraft anyway all now that all that rants over i was hoping to make this an under 10 minute video but you know i had to rant about optifine for a bit uh that is all i can really say like that's it for the video uh if you guys have any mods that you personally like running with pixmon feel free to drop them in the comment section down below so other people can check can uh, read up on that and see maybe they'll be interested in adding it in but i've pretty much gone over the basics again just to top it all off what you're going to want to get for the most part is a mini map mod any sort of mod that that makes your experience better like um an ore excavation mod a storage base mod and if you want exploration or additional things to do add in like a food mod or a biomes plus mod something like that either way uh, Pixelmon's a fun mod. It's still updating. It's in 1.16.5 now, and it literally has updated every month so far this year for the most part, I'm pretty sure. And I, you know, I can't say anything bad about it. It's been amazing. They keep adding amazing features to it, like Pokestops. Hey, look, I just found another Pokestop. Uh, it's pretty crazy now. I recommend installing it. I recommend running it. If you're a fan of Pokemon, this is the mod for you. You don't even have to know how to play Minecraft for the most part. You can just, if you really want to, game mode, creative, put, give yourself all the items for Minecraft and just go and have fun with the Pokemon. Catch all the Pokemon. Every Pokemon from Gens 1 through 8 are in here. Even the Pokemon from Legends Arceus are in this mod. We have daycare centers. We have Pokemon centers. We have Pokemon Marts. Uh, and they are sh working to add back in all the gyms. I feel like the gyms is going to be their next huge update. And it's going to add in custom gyms like we've never seen before. And I cannot wait. This is definitely the, a true Pokemon a gamer's dream. If you're a fan of any of the Pokemon games. If you've liked Pokemon, the anime, the video games, the card game, anything. This is probably the best mod that I could ever recommend to you. If you enjoy playing Minecraft. Because it literally is the best Pokemon experience, in my opinion. Because the difference between this and all other games is, one, every single Pokemon is in it. You don't have to jump through any hoops to transfer them into this game. They can all spawn in the world. And there's also all the custom Pokemon that you all know and love, like the Crystal Onyx I showed that spawn in the world. Pink Pokemon spawn your spirit forms of different Pokemon. We have zombie Pokemon that can spawn. Boss Pokemon, shiny Pokemon. You can even Dynamax gigantamax mega evolve and uz moves all in this mod it all works it's all perfect and i can't say anything else besides 
what are you waiting for download this mod and if you want to see the la latest showcase that i've done for this mod it'll be linked to the car top right corner or just search pixelmon on my channel i've been doing a ton of guides recently on how to encounter some of these special forms of pokemon that i spoke of check those out too and without further ado that's going to do it for this video. I recommend subscribing to this channel. We have a ton of Pixelmon content still planned for you. And uh, comment down below what your favorite thing about Pixelmon is. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to smash that like button to show your support. Can we get, can we get like, can we get like 30 likes on this video? At least 30 likes, please. I, I really would appreciate it. Uh, this is definitely an amazing mod and I, I want to be motivated to keep covering it. I mean, I will still cover it, but you know, seeing the extra likes on the video helps as well and it helps promote the video as well. Either way, that's going to do enough of my rambling. I hope you guys enjoy your Pixelmon adventures too. And feel free to also leave a comment saying what you most recently caught in Pixelmon. That being said, I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.